Okay. It looks like eBay sellers are going to be forced to sign up for managed payments on eBay and not have the option to use PayPal anymore um, for their payments to go into, which is kind of a bummer. Um, if you have an eBay working, I mean, a, a PayPal working capital loan, uh, that loan gets paid automatically with your eBay sales when they go into your PayPal account, and then the 15% uh, goes into that working capital loan. So let's see, I don't want to fill that out right now. Uh, so that's just going to take some extra steps to pay on that loan, but uh, we'll see here how this, um, how this sounds. So I'll just go ahead and read through this. This is my first time reading through it, uh, but I thought since I'm doing this, maybe I could help other sellers in understanding how managed payments through eBay works. All right, we're introducing managed payments as a way to simplify your experience on eBay and to offer new and more convenient ways for your buyers to pay. As a managed payment seller on eBay, you'll have one place to sell and get paid and you'll receive payments directly to your bank account. All right, so that right there is telling me that eBay will now have my bank account information, which I was felt more secure with just having that in a a payment processing website and not eBay having access to my bank, seeing that I've dealt with a lot of, uh, we'll just say issues with eBay over the uh, last few years, uh, not being honest. Um, just, it's, that's a long story. Go back and watch some of my other videos. So we'll, mm, I don't know, I guess there's no other choice. We'll see how they, uh, they handle my money hopefully they do that in a fiduciary capacity all right so all reports transaction fees and protections will be in one place and your buyers will have more ways to pay to get paid in one place your payouts will be deposited directly into your bank account with the option to schedule payments to daily or weekly so okay that's kind of how paypal worked the the money uh, that was spent on items in your store goes automatically into your paypal account daily so that um, actually it's not even daily it just goes in pretty much real time they pay for the item goes to your PayPal account and then your PayPal account just grows uh, throughout the day through each transaction so this looks like whatever your daily sales will be will go into your bank account from eBay now so uh, instead of each transaction going to PayPal, that transaction will go to eBay and they'll pay you out each day, which basically they hold your money for a day. And if they're doing some uh, day trading type stuff, they'll be able to make more interest on uh, holding that money for the day. Uh, kind of similar to something that the, the Federal Reserve does, uh, but that's a whole nother YouTube video. simpler invoicing not to be a grammar uh stickler here but um i think that should be more simple invoicing i don't know you tell me is simpler even a word every transaction will be recorded on your ebay invoice reports customized reports tax documentation and fees all in one place ah well, that sounds like a positive sounds like um That'll be a little bit more streamlined to be able to take care of all of that. Uh, new ways to pay such as Google Pay, Apple Pay, and PayPal credit. That actually sounds really good because a lot of people are using these pay apps and that's how they get paid um, from for whatever they're doing through these pay apps. So many people ask me if I have Venmo or Apple Pay or any of these things and you know I'm kind of old school and like I have PayPal and my bank account. I try not to use all that so um, but this this right here this is this seems like a good thing. Uh, seller protections dedicated support including claim and chargeback seller protections in one place. I don't know we'll see how that goes. I tried to call them and they said that they're shut down. I tried to call eBay managed payments and they're shut down right now 
So there's really nobody to speak with uh, to ask any kind of questions about how eBay managed payments work. I just have to go through this uh, tutorial here. How managed payments work. With managed payments, eBay will manage the end-to-end -end payments experience. For example, when a buyer purchases one of your items, eBay will manage the payment transaction and you'll be paid directly to your bank account with no need to transfer your payments between accounts. Buyers can safely and securely purchase items with credit cards, debit cards, gift cards. Ah, gift cards. Where do they get all those gift cards? Uh, Apple Pay, Google Pay, PayPal, and PayPal Credit with the option to save card information for future use. The experience will be similar to other online retailers and once you've transitioned onto managed payments, will automatically add the following payment methods to your listings. Visa, American Express, MasterCard, Discover, PayPal, PayPal Credit, Apple Pay, uh, eBay App and Mobile Web, Google Pay, eBay App. All right, so this, just the way things are evolving with payments, a lot of people aren't using cash anymore. Like I said, they've got all these different other ways to pay. So this, I don't know, this seems like a benefit to the seller right here. And uh, hopefully that will result in more sales for the eBay seller. It's getting tougher and tougher to sell on eBay because of the, the options only being able to use PayPal and stuff like that. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how that helps out. Buyers may see different payments, different payment options on your listings at checkout depending on the device they're using. Getting paid with managed payments, you'll be paid directly into your chosen bank account regardless of which payment method your buyers choose. Which payment method your buyer chooses. If you sell daily, we'll send regular payments to your bank account, typically within two days of an order confirmation. Huh. You can also schedule the frequency of your payment. So an order confirmation. So that, does that mean once the buyer actually pays, you don't get paid for that item for two days. So that money builds up in a, an account that eBay has. Imagine how many sellers are on eBay and how much money they're going to have consistently on a daily basis in an account for 48 hours that they'll be able to put into a fund. So this is good for investors, it sounds like. They'll be able to put that money into a fund and they'll have an average daily amount pretty much in that fund. It'll fluctuate a little bit depending on, you know, if it's a holiday or a payday or whatever, but there will be pretty much an average daily amount in that fund. It'll probably be I don't know, I, it'd be millions and millions of dollars or, or billions, a billion, I don't know, who knows what, what the average for that account will be. But say they're, um, they're investing that money into uh, an investment account and they're getting a certain percentage back, say they're getting like 3% back, they're gonna be making 3% interest on your money that's being held in that account on a daily basis. So that's gonna make them, as a company, make them a lot of extra money. You can schedule the frequency of your payments. While we're dependent on credit card brands and banks for payout process times, we're still looking into ways for our sellers to have more options and even faster access to funds, claims, refunds, and returns. As a managed payment seller, you can issue full or partial, partial refunds for items in Seller Hub up to 90 days after the original transaction, as long as there aren't any open disputes on the transaction. Buyers will have the option to submit disputes and claims through the eBay Resolution Center in most situations by centralizing resolutions. You'll have greater visibility to claims, disputes, and can manage them more effectively. For the majority of claims, refunds, and returns, eBay will continue to follow existing policies and refunds will be returned to the original payment method the buyer used at the time of purchase. Any refunds, chargebacks, or claim obligations for transactions before you enable eBay to manage your payments should be handled through PayPal. Let me read that part again. Any refunds, chargebacks, or claim obligations for transactions before you enabled eBay to manage your payments should be handled through PayPal. Okay, so just anything existing, any prior uh, 
issues that you have with a buyer that you need to return that money for will only you'll, yeah okay so that's going to be a temporary thing everything else will be managed through eBay managed payments all right uh, for a full breakdown of additional seller protections available to you in managed payments please see our article on handling payment disputes as a managed payment seller orders and shipping to ensure your buyers have a great shopping experience and to maintain your seller level and top rated status you'll still need to ship orders promptly okay yeah, within the the uh, noted shipping time that you that you state one day two days five days whatever your um, shipping time is that you state there are no charges to the shipping label program if you use a third-party shipping platform or are managing labels on your own, you may continue to do so. You can also purchase USPS, FedEx, and UPS shipping labels from orders page in Seller Hub. You can deduct the cost of USPS shipping labels from your pending funds in Seller Hub or pay with PayPal. Charges for FedEx and UPS labels will be billed on your monthly eBay invoice. Okay. Oh. Okay. Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. So, so USPS, you can deduct the cost of U United States Postal Service shipping labels from your pending fund. So that's pretty much normal. That's how it worked already. Uh, the amount for your labels would be taken out of your PayPal account immediately as you print the labels. But it says charges for FedEx and UPS labels will build, be billed to your monthly eBay invoice. So that's something new that it, um, sellers seems like they would have to get used to uh because they're not being charged right away it said that's what it sounds like to me it sounds like they're the funds for the for the FedEx or UPS labels which wait a minute they're going to offer service through UPS now through the uh, the shipping system so actually that sounds like a bonus uh, to be able to to select FedEx or UPS right now there's not an option to select UPS if you want to choose UPS to ship, you have to go into the UPS uh, website and manually enter all of that information. So if you're shipping a lot through UPS and you're shipping 20, 30 uh, items a day, it'll end up taking you an hour or two longer to ship all your items because, because you have to man manually enter that information. So if this UPS right here, if this is a new option that eBay is going to offer, that is a bonus that is definitely uh, a good thing if that's what I'm if I'm reading that correctly uh, and the reason being sometimes UPS is cheaper than FedEx on certain size packages um, certain weights and different things like that so it's good to have that option to be able to choose between the two um, like USPS I ship all of my uh, items that are under 16 ounces uh, first class mail uh, so that's usually the cheapest for those and then anything that's heavier uh, larger boxes usually go through FedEx sometimes you know I'll check UPS for really large items and that seems to be cheaper for those but if you can go back and forth between these three and just do a real quick uh, estimate of how much it will cost to ship each item and you can just pick the cheapest uh, that that could give you another option to save money uh, that really adds up throughout the year so okay so that could be a positive selling internationally right now sellers opted into managed payments uh, can't directly list items on eBay's international sites I don't Personally, I don't list anything on international sites. If somebody from uh, another country wants to buy from uh, eBay USA, I think a lot of times they'll actually just go to eBay USA. You can you, you can do that. You can go to eBay USA, eBay UK, uh, eBay Canada. I don't know how many different ones there are, but um, it seems like I have a lot of international sales, and those people will just go directly to eBay USA. And I believe that it cost extra to list on those uh, multiple platforms, different countries and stuff like that. So 
All right, so non-U.S. buyers can still shop and pay for your items on eBay.com as they do using credit or debit cards, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, etc., and you can ship directly to them. You can also easily ship internationally with our global shipping program, which takes care of customers' taxes and import-export fees for you. The global shipping program is available for managed payments. Uh, sellers who want to increase their listings exposure across eBay's international sites. So this is something that actually is one more option for buyers to ship through the global shipping program that uh, it's, it's, I'd call it a bonus. I'd call it a, uh, a positive thing for sellers because a lot of times you might have uh, issues with uh, shipping items internationally and then there will be an uh, some kind of issue with customs and the buyer wants you to pay the customs or they're upset because they had to pay customs and this and that with the eBay global shipping program you can ship your item to there's I believe there's two different locations I think there's one uh, somewhere in California maybe Long Beach I can't remember exactly where uh, it is in California but somewhere on the coast in California and my guess is they have their own airplane or uh, their own um, shipping containers and they are doing that independent of um, USPS, FedEx, UPS, whatever and shipping all those items for you. I think there's another global shipping hub in Kentucky and you're basically responsible for getting those items to that domestic location and once it makes it to one of those domestic locations you are in the clear eBay handles it from there and you don't have to worry about anybody contacting you about customs or or anything so uh, I believe it's a little bit more expensive for buyers to to have it shipped through that right now I've, I've had I haven't had a lot of sales where they they uh, select that item but it's just one more option so all right that's a good thing this isn't you know this isn't uh, I'm not just looking to slam eBay here. I'm here to be realistic and um, explain the reality of how things work, the positives and the negatives. So there's some things about eBay I like. They definitely had some shady things going on um, with organized stalking and harassment, uh, AKA gang stalking. And I was a victim of that over the last three years. I can't believe that my store uh, took took this long for my store to be shut down. I got some help from a lot of good people to help me get my store back open, and I'm going to try this again and see how eBay has evolved and how they will uh, treat me from here on out. So we'll, you know, this is a, uh, a work in progress, and hopefully they, like I said, they will evolve and um, get away from some of their really unconstitutional practices and uh, become a little more, not a little more, a lot uh, more user-friendly for the seller, for certain sellers, targeted sellers. When you're, create, uh, when you're creating a listing, so, uh, select that you're willing to ship internationally and which countries you want to ship. And international buyers will be able to purchase your item from ebay.com as long as they pay with US dollars, uh, USD format of payment, US dollars form form of payment. eBay for charity. eBay for charity isn't currently av available for managed payment sellers. Uh, so listings that have a charity selected will be revised once you register. This means that all active items with charities will be no longer, uh, I'm sorry, selected will no longer show that proceeds will be donated to charity and buyers payments will no longer have a part or all of the funds sent to charity. So uh, when you're listing an item, and you sell that item, you can select a certain percentage that you want to go to a specific charity. Now, I tried to pick a charity that wasn't on their approved charity list uh, that I wanted some money to go to, and you can't really do that. There are approved charities that you can select that eBay has already pre-selected, and that was something I didn't really like because, you know, not all the charities that I would be willing to uh, support are ones that are pre-approved by eBay. So I'd like to see that option change to where I can just, if I wanted to do that, 
So I want to spend 10% of the income that I'm getting to a specific charity and then use that for a write-off at the end of the year. I'd like to be, I'd like a little more freedom in deciding who I'm giving my donation to. All right, managed payment selling managed payments selling fees. Starting July 20, 2020, we're introducing some changes for managed payments sellers. For more information on the new fees, see our articles on selling fees, store selling fees, fee credits. All right, and I'll go into that later. Uh, here's what's changing. You'll be charged the final value fee when your item sells with no separate charges for payment processing fees. Okay, so eBay charged a certain amount uh, when you sold an item and then PayPal would charge a certain amount. So it, uh, I think it came out to close to like 15%, like 10% with eBay on average and then like 6% with PayPal. So you're right around 15% out the door that's just gone from your, your sales. So, you know, just say $15 out of every $100, do a thousand dollars in sales there goes 150 bucks you do 10,000 there's $1,500 just in final value fees that you're paying to keep your store running and that does not include subscription fees or uh, relisting fees which depending on the subscription to your store if you have a uh, an anchor store uh, you have up to 10,000 items you can list and then anything after that it's five cents Per item, even the, even though it's say your items are listed indefinitely or until sold, that's kind of uh, misleading because those items aren't being relisted yet. Every 30 days, you're charged a relisting fee for that item. Uh, if you have a premium store, you have up to a thousand items, and any item that's in your store, resting in your store, even if it, like I said, if it's listed indefinitely or until sold, uh, you're charged 10 cents per item every 30 days for that item. So I have about 14,000 items in my store. I did the math on either subscription. It still comes out to about the same amount, uh, 12 to $1,500 a month if I'm doing six to $7,000 in sales. The final value fee will consist of a vari variable portion determined by listing category and fixed portion. The fixed portion of the, man of the final value fee will apply once per order, even if the order contains multiple items. Okay. Your final value fees will be automatically deducted from your sale proceeds with the rest paid out to your bank account. All right. We're removing final value fee caps and introducing final value fee tiers instead. Uh, with this new two tier structure for higher value sales, where the total amount of the sale exceeds the first tier, you are charged a much lower final, final value fee rate for the portion of the sale that exceeds the first tier. Okay, so if you have like a $10,000 item, uh, maybe you won't be being charged uh, $1,200 for selling that item. It'll move to a different tier and uh, maybe be like five or 600 bucks. I don't know exactly. That's just a, you know, some just guesstimate. But that sounds like a good thing. That sounds like a positive thing, a uh, positive for the seller, which eBay's really gonna need to step it up and make more positives for the seller because they're going to lose good people that create a, a large amount of income for them. Okay, we're introducing some new fees for international transactions. Dispute resolution fees also apply for managed payment sellers when applicable. Hmm. International new fees. I don't know. That just doesn't sound good. New fees for international transactions. Huh. That's kind of vague. I wonder what that's all about. Final value fees are calculated as a percentage of the total amount of the sale. Total amount of the sale will now include sales tax. Wait. Final values, final value fees are calculated as a percentage of the total amount of the sale. Total amount of the sale will now include sales tax. 
Yeah, so some tax laws changed, and I didn't used to get um, people didn't used to get charged for taxes, and all of a sudden there's certain states that uh, will get charged taxes now for these online sales. And I won't even get into the IRS, but they're unconstitutional and illegal in the first place. It's based in London, England. That's a whole nother talk show. Uh, the IRS was created in 1862, a year after the Civil War started when the uh, government realized that slavery was going to be ended and they wanted a way to keep everyone enslaved. And uh, so they started the IRS, 1862. Look it up. Fact check it. All right, I don't want I don't want to get off on too many tangents here. If your item qualifies for the top rated plus discount, you will continue to receive the 10% discount on managed payments. Your 10% discount will not only be applied to the item price as it is today, but on the total amount of the sale, including shipping and tax. This will result in additional savings on most top rated plus items. Okay. In the event of a full refund or cancellation, the, avail the variable portion of the final value fee will be returned to the seller. eBay will retain only the per order fee of 30 cents. So for every transaction now on eBay, I don't know if this is something they already did, but so for every transaction, you're getting charged 30 cents. So say I ship out 400 items a month, which is pretty standard. It, it went down recently because of all this crazy stuff that's going on in the world, but um, so that's $30 per 100 items. So I'm looking at $120 a month. So that's not too ridiculous, but it's just one more thing that's 100 bucks, uh, $120. So that just adds to the uh, the end of the month invoice. I don't really like that. That that's that's not a benefit for the seller. Why are you paying a subscription fee of three hundred or three hundred and fifty dollars a month if they're going to tack on another thirty cents per item? So that's just another way to get a hundred dollars more out of some. You know, you might as well just make this subscription fee another hundred dollars. So it's. Six of one, half of a dozen of another to just wait to farm you for your cash. Final value fee. Starting in July, you'll be charged a final value fee when your item sells with no separate charges for payment processing fees. Sellers who are already enrolled in managed payments are currently charged separate processing fees for each transaction on eBay starting July 20th eBay will no longer charge separate fees for processing payments, and this will be included as part of the final value fee. Here is an illustration. All right, uh, final value fee, 12.35% plus 30%, uh, 30 cents per order. Payment processing costs none, total final value fee per sale. Okay, so this actually, possibly if my if what I think the fees are for eBay and PayPal was around 15%, 15 to 16%, 10% from eBay, 6% from PayPal, this is actually going down Let's see, sixteen percent, three and a half percent, a little bit more than three and a half percent. So, huh? How does that work in with that thirty cents right there? Anyway, that looks like the final value fees actually will go down a little bit for the seller, seeing that eBay will do be doing this in house now. But as a company, they'll be. Um, really benefiting from this if they're investing that average amount per day into uh, the stock market making like a three or four percent profit on the money that they're holding for 24 to 48 hours
wow, they're going to be doing really good because before it was just 10%. And now they upped it 2.35%, say they make uh, 3%, so they're going to be getting 5% more. Well, what it looks like to me, I might be wrong, somebody some, uh, somebody with a, what is it, 6 and 63 series uh, license, might be a little bit better at figuring that out than me. But yeah, if they're making 5%, on millions and millions and millions of dollars a day that's going to work out for them and their um, shareholders so i'm sure their shareholders will be happy with that i look to look to see who some of their um, institutional investment companies are that invest in ebay a few of them i wasn't happy seeing blackrock international which is a global company um, i won't get into that right now uh, final value fees vary by category, store, subscription, and seller. Standard for details of all final value fees by category. See selling fees for managed payment sellers. Final value fees and calculated at, uh, are calculated as a category-based percentage of the total amount of the sale. Previously, the total amount of the sale did not include sales tax. An order is defined as any number of items purchased by the same buyer at checkout with the same shipping method. Um, example of final value fees calculation calculated for managed payment sellers restricted items when eBay manages your end-to-end -end payments experience there are additional restrictions on which items can be sold we're working to expand the types of items allowed by sellers and managed payments and ensure we are compliant to support them in the future if you predominantly sell in one of the these categories we will not expect you to register for managed payments at this time once your account has been activated for managed payments, any item you have listed in the below categories will automatically be ended and you will not be able to list items in them. Huh. Okay, interesting. So adult only items including movies and video games, airline, rail, and cruise tickets, auction services, Bullion, so gold, silver, uh, coins and paper money, event tickets, gift card and coupons, lodging, timeshares, vacation packages, and car rentals, memberships for campground and RV parks, motor vehicles, wine. So any of these, I don't even know you could sell alcohol on eBay. So any of these categories... It looks like you'll have to keep um, your PayPal account active if you're going to sell in any of these categories and basically just keep everything the same as it used to be. I don't know what the reasoning for that is. I'm sure there's some actuary that works for eBay that figured out a bunch of... Um, bunch of statistics uh, for loss and gains and blah 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 figured out why those certain categories are uh, not going to be available for managed payments all right so registering for managed payments your invitation to managed payments should be in your email box where you find the link to register for the program you can register in a few simple steps to confirm your identity business information and bank account details this is to ensure you successfully receive your payments when your account is transitioned to managed payments. For more information on registering for managed payments, please see our article, uh, get set up or update for your managed payments account. Okay, so it looks like after this, I'll be clicking on that. and Wow, giving eBay my bank information. I am really not comfortable with that right now. Hopefully, I will be later on down the road and they, they uh, make amends with me personally and... Um, like I said, evolve, remove some of the standard operating procedures that they use on certain targeted sellers and uh, they restore their trust with me personally and I'm, I know with many other sellers. So we'll see how that goes. Not comfortable with that at all. After you register, we'll be, begin to activate your account for managed payments, which can take between a few days and a few months to complete as we roll out the managed payments program before your account is fully activated for managed payments we'll notify you by email 
and send you the information in advance to prepare your business for the change. Until then, you can continue doing business as usual on eBay. We may also contact you if you need to further validate any information. Your existing eBay listings will automatically be set up for managed payments and you won't need to make any changes to your existing listings. If you weren't using Seller Hub on eBay before, you're, you'll automatically be opted into Seller Hub when you enable managed payments. You'll also no longer have to go through third parties to find all the information required to reconcile your eBay payments and transactions. If you use a uh, if you used third-party tools to manage listings, inventory, and order management activities, reconciling finances, or issue refunds, there should be no change in how you use those tools when you enable managed payments. All right, still have questions. If you run into any problems setting up managed payments or need help once you've registered, please don't hesitate to contact us. Our dedicated team is ready to answer questions and help you get started. Huh. All right, so that's the uh, that's everything about managed payments. The positives, in my opinion, the positives, the negatives, the new procedures, uh, how this will benefit you as a seller. Uh, some things it seems like people will be happy with. Some people won't be happy with. Some things are probably a lot better, but it will just be that. Uh, like that breaking in period, getting used to doing something new. Change is the, uh, one of the most terrifying things for a lot of people. And uh, they just don't like change because once you get kind of in your normal routine, you're comfortable with that and learning something new is, uh, can be kind of a painful process, but sometimes in the long run, uh, it turns out to be a positive thing. So hopefully that's the case with the things on here that um, you'll be getting used to changing. Hopefully I'll be happy with this system. I don't have to worry about eBay having my financial institute information. Uh, that's the biggest thing for me right there. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to go ahead and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down right now. I'm just going to do this article and see how uh, future proofs pass. See, if, see how this um, works out for me all right so there's uh, information on eBay managed payments and there's other options over here on oh wait no this looks like oh these just look like tabs to take you down to different parts of the uh, literature here so if you want to know more about the uh, different stuff the selling fees store selling fees fee credits stuff like that there's links here to click those but that's about it for managed payments that I have and uh, hope that was helpful everybody have a good day